Morning everybody, it's Mark from Johnny and Mott Leisure Kingdom. Thank you for joining me today here at Johnny and Mott Leisure at the showground in Hilton. So today I've got for you a 2021 uh, Auto Sleeper Broadway FB. FB meaning French bed. Uh, it's a two traveller, so it's got driver and passenger seat, seat belts, four sleeper, so the dinette turns into a bed and it's got a fixed bed at the back. Uh, it's on a Peugeot uh, engine and gearbox, so it's 2.2, 160 horsepower. Uh, really nice sort of Peugeot finished alloy wheels. Uh, you can see you've got the awning light just above the habitation door. Uh, wind out awning is standard on the side as well as a solar panel. Um, finished in white with some really nice posh decals all the way down the van. Um, and then it's done just under 5,000 miles at 4,953. That may change due to test drives. Uh, you've got the cab blinds come right the way over so you can see they finished the cab off nice and privately so you've got driver's door passenger door and windscreens uh, old um, sat nav um, reverse camera built into the dashboard as well and um, it's also got uh, power steering nice leather finished uh, steering wheel and then you've got this leather at look sort of finished interior as well driver and passenger seat both rotate so you can have a, a really nice dinette and then when we go down the driver's side of the vehicle just here there you've got your water infill point gas infill so it's got onboard lpg refill system that one there at the back is a external television port and then your hookup point just there toilet cassette just inside here so it's an end bathroom shower with it being a french bed so it's got a really nice shower room in there as well reverse cameras just mounted in the little pod at the top and then you've got uh, mounts on the rear of the van if you want to add a bike rack in the future um storage locker that takes you underneath the french bed so there's plenty of room in there if you want to put picnic chairs fold away tables spare electric cable anything you want to take with you within reason will fit under the bed uh, just there we've got an external gas barbecue point so that one's nice and handy to have and then that one is an external three pin household socket so when you've got your awning wound out or if you've got a driveway awning set up you can run power out to it and you can have anything you want in there air fryer radio <laughs> heater anything um, so uh, you've got a little external storage locker just in there and then your electric fold out step fly screen over the habitation door and blackout blind on the window as well so you can make the van nice and private and then jumping in you can always tell when you're in an auto sleeper because they're finished yeah. really really lovely you've got a port in between the driver and passenger seat so where you can uh, have a table and then down on the cab you can see you've got um, all your little screen on the reverse mirror for the reverse camera and um, built into the dash you've got all your sat nav dab radio system bluetooth controls are all built onto the steering wheel little storage pockets to the driver's side and passenger side above the seats and they have got the little illumination lights next to them as well and then you've got that nice big skylight that just there that we're looking at at the minute turning around we've got these big storage lockers over there so there's lots and lots of space in there fridge vent covers in there as well so it keeps that nice and protected and then this side lots and lots of space lots of storage and then you've got this nice dinette so these pull together into a double bed so that's one of the two beds a little worktop extension just there um, and then you've got a nice size sink three wing gas with an electric hot plate separate oven separate grill again loads of storage in the kitchen area as well so you've got all these top matter cupboards and these nice Ooh, posh glasses that, that come glasses. with it that's an auto sleeper yes. <laughs> um above the fridge so we've got the big family size fridge freezer so there's lots of storage space in there as well uh, you've got the microwave and then this cupboard just here pull out and you've got a freestanding table just there as well that you can use inside or outside yeah. uh, just at the side of the habitation door you can see there you've got your awning winder mm -hmm. and then above that's your control panel for the heating and hot water and then that's the control panel for everything to do with 12 volts so lighting water tanks water pumps um all that sort of stuff is all on there uh, to the back of the van here you can see we've got this french bed so that's a double bed squeezed in there storage lockers over the top and storage compartment over the back and you've got a television point just here so you can have uh, a tv bracket fitted onto the wall there if mm -hmm. you wanted to at some point um yeah plug it in there and watch telly to your heart's content uh, you've got a big storage locker there with wi-fi unit so this one's got built-in wi-fi yeah. so you just need a sim card for the subscription and then that's your little table that you can use down in the port on the floor and then another cupboard here and then you've got just like it's more like a shoe rack sort of thing yeah. and then in the back door there open that up 
separate shower cubicle to the back of the van and then you've got that nice big window that lets lots of uh, air and light through uh, you can close it off with a blackout blind while you're in the toilet area so you can make the bathroom nice and private so that's not um, open for the world to see when you're in your pyjamas on a Sunday morning and you've got a nice size <laughs> sink and uh, this illuminated uh, posh little vanity mirror as well yeah really nice finished van um, speakers all the way through the front and the rear of the motorhome as well uh, lots and lots of light skylights scattered all the way through the roof of the motorhome as well so it gives you a lot of feel of a lot of space and headroom uh, being taller for me that's always handy um, but it's really well finished bear in mind it's only got two seat belts so you can only travel with two people at any time but it will sleep four so for a couple that want to be able to go away and then maybe have friends and family come and stay through the odd night or so perfect motorhome for you um it's 7.19 meters in length so it isn't massive in the world of motorhomes and um the weight Wendy is the only thing I haven't looked at. I believe um, it's three and a half ton. Three yeah, half. three and a half so tons. So it can be driven on a standard car license as well. Um, it's available on site. It's here to view. If you'd like to come and arrange a test drive, please feel free to do so. Uh, give us a call anytime. My name's Mark. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you soon.